Bonjour et bienvenue, je m'appelle Herman, my name is Herman. This again will be a conjugation lesson, une leçon de conjugaison. We are still dealing with verbs ending in ER, les verbes en ER, also called verbes du premier groupe, verbs of the first group, which we said were usually regular. So, today we are looking at a few examples of verbs, ER verbs, that are not quite regular. We've already seen, remember that one in the previous lesson, this structure, a verb that was structured like this, with an A and A. So this here, you have the final syllable, which was usually preceded by A. And we've seen how the A would change into E, right? So A, E. This time we have almost the same structure. Instead of A, we have and e. So no accent this time. So these verbs uh, whose last syllable will be preceded by e like this will also have uh, specific rules of conjugation. So let's take a look at a few. Elle enlève son sweater. Elle enlève son sweater. She's taking off or she takes off her sweater. J'emmène mon frère à la gare. J'emmène mon frère à la gare. I'm taking my brother to the station. Tu pèses 70 kilos. Tu pèses 70 kilos. You weigh 70 kilos. So, these verbs, enlève, emmène, pèse, are all ER verbs. So, in a sense, they are regular because the endings will remain the same. Again, you can go back to how to conjugate ER verbs in the present tense to see the endings of ER verbs in the present. So they are regular. What we are dealing with here is this letter here. As you can see, this E accent grave, this E, letter E with an accent. Here again, E accent grave, E accent grave. Well, let me give you the infinitive form of enlève. Enlève in the infinitive form, to take off, is enlever. Enlever, no accent. Emmène is emmener. Emmener. Again, no accent on the E here, as you can see. And finally, pèse will be, you guessed it, peser with no accent. So, this is the final syllable. Emmener, ne is the final syllable. Enlever, V is the final syllable. Peser, Z is the final syllable. And right before, directly preceding that syllable, we have an E, E, E. So for such verbs, the E will have a different sound in the conjugation, in the present tense. So let's look at the changes here. So for this verb having an E that precedes directly uh, the final syllable, there's a different set of rules uh, in the conjugation. And for the study of pronouns, uh, je, so first person singular, tu, second person singular, il, elle, on, third person singular, as well as, well as il, plural, and elle, plural form, third persons. So for these different subject pronouns, the e will turn into e, e accent grave, e accent grave. The E will turn into E. That's why we went from enlevé to enlève. Enlevé, EV, to enlève. EV, 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 EV. Emmène, en, ene, ene. And ez, tu pèses, to eze, peser, eze. So that's the sound change that you could, you can hear. And these are typically the the structure of those verbs that will have such changes. Verbs ending in ene, like emmener, or in ev, like enlever, like in eze, like peser, or in et, like acheter, acheter, to buy, to buy. Here, be a bit careful with acheter, those endings et, because we have another verb like jeter, to throw, which will have an entirely different set of uh, rules when it comes to the conjugation in the present. So, jeter here would not be part of 
this group here, okay? But ET, like um, HT, would belong to this one, but JT will not be part of it. So let's not talk about JT for now. Let's stick with HT, okay? HT. So, peser, acheter, emmener, enlever, will have those changes here. So what changes are we talking about? Let's look at them. So for verbs ending in EZ, we have peser. Je pèse, as you can see. The E turn into an E. Je pèse. Tu pèses. Il pèse. And let's skip to the third person plural. Elle pèse. Il pèse. So, E, 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 E. However, the nous and vous will remain the same. No changes. Nous pesons. Vous pesez. We weigh. You weigh. So, for nous and vous, no changes. We still have the E of the infinitive here. But for all other subject pronouns, we have to change the E into E. So, je pèse, tu pèses, il, elle, on pèse, nous pesons, no change, vous pesez, il pèse, elle pèse. Verbs like emmener, the E ne form, emmener, to take someone to, to take something to, j'emmène, j'emmène, should be a J apostrophe because we have a vowel. J'emmène. Tu emmènes. Il emmène. Nous emmenons. Nous emmenons. Vous emmenez. Ils emmènent. As you can see, sometimes when I say emmenant, the E tends to be slightly swallowed. I don't say nous emmenons. Nous emmenons. You could say it, but in spoken French, you say nous emmenons. Nous emmenons. Nous emmenons. Nous emmenons. As if the E was non-existent, right? But as you write it, you have to write an E and not E. So for the NU and VU forms, no changes are noticeable. Now, enlever, j'enlève, tu enlèves, il enlève, nous enlevons, vous enlevez, ils enlèvent. And we said the verb acheter here, acheter, to buy, j'achète, like this. Go ahead and if you want for practice, try to conjugate HT based on the, the rules here. For the ET form, for the ET, j'achète, tu achètes, il achète, nous achetons, vous achetez, ils achètent. So try to write this down fully and let me see uh, what you came up with. Now we have here a quiz, as always, we'll always end our lessons with, with a quiz. So, tu achètes, is it right or wrong? Look at the subject pronoun here, tu, and the conjugation of acheter, to buy. So, you buy, or you are buying, tu achètes, is it correct? Let's see. For tu, we have e, e, is that right? Let's see, tu, yes, we do have e for tu, right? So, tu achètes is correct. J'emmène, j'emmène. So we have je with amen. Do we have an, let's see, n? Mm, no accent, is that right? Let's look at it. For je, oh, we do have an accent, so this would be wrong. So this would be wrong. Make the correction and rewrite the sentence here. The verb and, okay, the subject pronoun, je, j'emmène. So with an accent, j'emmène. So, go ahead and fill in the blanks, the other verbs, based on the subject pronoun and the following verb. See whether or not there are some uh, changes required. And post your answers in the French lab, and I will be happy to help if you need any assistance. And other members are also encouraged to uh, provide some, some answers to their peers. So that's it for now. Merci et à très bientôt. Au revoir. Bye bye.